Hello, everyone. Hi. Oh, my goodness. I'm super excited to be doing another live stream. Um, and uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm super excited to see who all is going to be here. And um, for the past week, we have been uh, teasing this event, this live event, which is a live stream to introduce you to my new fabric collection. Um, I feel like if I was like doing a video, I'd be like introducing myself, but obviously you're here, so you should know who I am. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, like I think also you guys know that I have been uh, partnered up with cosplayfabrics.com to bring fabrics to Joanne stores uh, nationwide. And um, it's been super exciting uh, to, to enter now our, I think our sixth year. So we've come out with um, over 10 collections. So like two collections a year since uh, 2016. And now, you know, it's just really amazing that every year we get to release new fabrics, design new fabrics and um, see what you all make with it. Uh, Galaxy Queen Cosplay says, I'm so excited to see new fabrics. Um, I am getting lots of notifications of people being here. Um, I see Kevin White from um, Thomasville, Alabama. Hi, welcome. And uh, I see some international people too. So very, very cool. Um, Laura from Lake Hills, Tennessee, uh, oh, Texas, Lake Hill, Texas. And oh, I see some friends too. Hi, Ria. Uh, she says, can't wait to see the new line. Yeah. So, so yeah, every year we get to release a spring collection and a um, fall collection. And the super exciting thing is that the spring collection has been shipped. So we're timing this live to where they should be in stores this week. I, and this weekend, so you could technically like note down what you want and go tomorrow, like plan your trip to Joanne tomorrow. <laughs> and um, also uh, Joanne has since started, like since I think recently started shipping internationally. So for a couple of years, there was always that question, like, can, you know, can people from uh, Europe and other countries get the fabrics and, uh, you know, now Joanne actually ships to about 50 different countries. So if you absolutely must have something, it is now possible to get it, you know, worldwide, hopefully. Laura says this stream is one of my, the highlights of my year. Oh my gosh, I am like so touched. Thank you. And she's from the UK. So thank you so much, all, all of you for being here. I think I saw somebody from Spain as well. Uh, I see my friend Sirecat Cosplay, hello, and uh, Jermaine Edwards, thank you so much for always supporting me. So, um, Len from uh, New Jersey, Len Cosplay and Crafts, thank you so much for being here. And then like, <laughs> Pandorona Cosplay says, heavy breathing from Trinidad. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I see, I see lots of friendly faces. Uh, Dorothy and uh, Scott Hins. Hi. So I'm just going to spend the next hour saying hi to everyone. No, I'm no, just kidding. All right. I'm actually going to show you guys some fabric. So yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready to see what's coming out in the new collection? I have them here, right here off screen. Okay. I'm just going to go. <laughs> All right. So I'm starting off with a banger. Uh, this one is the light blue floral satin brocade and it's one of my favorite fabrics in this collection um and the cool thing about this fabric here we, we actually have a video of it where you can see it in action so the really cool thing about this fabric is that it is a woven brocade so and it has a, a print on top of it that is that is done with heat transfer. So the, the really like colorful flowers that you see, they're actually a print, another layer on top of the brocade. So it gives this fabric like so many layers. I mean, you can see, right? You can see that there is like woven flowers and then there's like the florals that are printed on. So this is like a new textile technique, uh, printing on top of brocade. So just so you know, we're like unstoppable now. and 
Um, I, I, I think like it's perfect for spring. Um, I think the Joanne team really loved it. Uh, Lucy and the Bridgerton is coming out. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. But I am also very, very like in love with this fabric. I would love to do more fabrics um, in, with this technique, more colors, more, you know, different styles. So if you guys like it, make sure that you, you know, make it known so we can bring more. So it is a light blue on my screen. It looks a little like a little off color, but it, it's truly like a really beautiful pale blue color. So, and it's like really nice quality. It's like, has like a really nice lustrous sheen. So yeah, I love it. It's gonna definitely want to make something with it myself. Like I only have one yard of it. I need about five more, please. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Mimi says, I would love to wear that fabric as well. It is gorgeous. Yeah, I know. It's so pretty. So yeah, I, I always just love that we get to play with brocades. Um, so these next two fabrics, I you, you've been seeing them on my docky costumes. I've been like, just totally taking advantage of them. So this is the Four Seasons Small French Brocade in pink. And uh, we have a video for that as well. It is actually like a really beautiful fuchsia pink. And uh, it has like, it, it's like a really nice medium weight as well. And it has like all these metallic thread accents. Um, it just gives it a lot of depth and dimension. And so, and I, I honestly, I also think like the, the print is fairly neutral. Like it's, it's um, small enough that it's pretty versatile and you can do a lot of different things with it, which is why I chose it for a docky over here. So I've been making Docky from Demon Slayer and um, you know, I've been using this fabric for the sashes and uh, just uh, using heat and bond to, you know, applique more fabrics on top of it. Great bond, you know, not an issue, easy to sew. And it's thick, like it's nice and thick when, when you have it together. So um, you can definitely do something very, very pretty with this fabric. And so we also offer it in the bright yellow. And um, so that just came perfectly for, you know, my costume. And I just love how bright it is, how just festive it is. And, you know, it, it but it's still like the, the print is small enough that you can do all kinds of things with it. You know, like it, there's like advantages and disadvantages to doing uh, larger or smaller prints. Um, of patterning. So I did all the accents on Docky with this fabric. And all of these, I just uh, satin stitched the lines on. So it also takes, you know, some beating because that's a lot of stitching back and forth and um, even has a layer of heat and bond underneath and it took it just fine. So I have to say like one of the best brocades that we've made for sure. Okay, what do you guys think so far? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with comments, but you guys are, there's a lot of comments. So I love it, I love it. So uh, Brianna says, I've taken a long hiatus from cosplay, but it, this has ignited, reignited my passion for cosplay. Yes, I love it, I love it. And Alley Cat says, it's so different from other brocades, I'm in love. Me too, so I'm like, I'm using it. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see, moving on, we have more, we have more brocades. So next we have the Damask brocade um, in, let's see, actually it's the blue first, in blue. I also have already used this fabric <laughs> for a costume of mine. Um, so this one is done, a, it's, a, it's a woven brocade with metallic threads and it has like this 3D texture on it the way that the the fabric is woven and um so it almost looks a little puffy and um i and it's more it's lighter weight than the four seasons brocade and so i used it for my bethlehem costume i made a sash with it and you know i sewed some ribbons onto it and it just took it very nicely um so i always like to try the fabrics out <laughs> if I can. 
and um, this is great fab irons great so very easily so it's very pretty and then I use so much of it this is all I have left <laughs> I need more please <laughs> and we also have the damask brocade in pink so it's uh, instead of blue with silver this is a pink with a champagne gold uh threading and so i think it's so pretty it's like just very very um princessy so i'd like to see some disney princess outfits made with this please oh <laughs> uh, let's see what you guys say uh, i love this one it has such a royal feel to it yeah i just like there is also something to be said with like a a brocade that you know is like how do you say it's more one dimensional in color so like only if you kind of get up close can you see the intricate details on it but then it has like this overall very, very like expensive luxurious feel so you can use this fabric as like a base for an entire dress even if you had 10 yards of it on you it wouldn't look gaudy or anything because it you know it sort of has that um like it, it's, a, it's a good base fabric feel all right what do you guys think of this one yay great texture yes i agree <laughs> chandler says sorry i'm late no worries we're gonna be here for a little bit we're just hanging out and playing with fabrics <laughs> oh my god there's some really sweet messages that i'm scrolling through oh Thank you. Thank you so much. Kitchen Gorilla says, congratulations on your new fabric release. It's so amazing and inspiring to see how you've grown since I first met you at ECC so long ago. Yes, it's been, what, like 10 years since I've been to uh, Emerald City Comic Con. So I miss it. I'd love to go back to Chicago, uh, to, to Seattle at some point. Okay. Anyway, we have more fabrics coming. Oh. Uh, let's see we have one more brocade to show you and this is the byzantine metallic brocade it's in royal blue and silver so we released uh this fabric in um, a black and gold and a red and gold last year and it was awesome like it's just like great response to it and this is just uh so so i'm really glad that we're able to offer it also in this blue color which i think is just fantastic so the um design is a little more like um oriental so it's a little more exotic looking um but again it's like great for fantasy costumes i can see so many like critical role and dnd costumes being made with something like this you can use it you know it's i feel like it's very um it, it'd be great for menswear as well as you know uh women's wear you can use it for stashes you use it for robes whatever like i think it's fantastic so this is also a little also lighter in you know so it drapes really nice it's it's lighter in weight and even the back of it so you could even use the back side i think where you have more of a silver and then just have the blue peek out so this this like if you use this fabric for something you wouldn't have to line it like if you made a cape with it you don't even have to line it because it looks really great on the inside so that's very nice i think all right so um now the royal blue metallic i like i could use it for a new jedi knight yes absolutely um that yeah i think it's great i i a lot of larping possibilities hi william <laughs> uh so i'm i'm really glad Ooh, mimi says it'd be perfect for my original character dark fairy cosplay yeah for sure like very fantasy um and you know lots of applications okay Sarah says she used the wrong side of the uh, Byzantine for a mask. Yes, and that's definitely, you can definitely do that. So um, I'm really happy to see that. Ooh. All right, so we have more fabrics to show you guys. I'm going to move on to our, um, we have a small collection of animal prints. And this is possibly one of my favorite animal prints that we've ever done. So this is the um, cheetah jacquard metallic. 
It is a woven brocade also with metallic threads where you could use either side of it. And um, so we, Joy really likes animal print. <laughs> so, you know, so I'm like, sure, if you like animal print, we can give you animal print. Uh, and so this, like we, we've done some zebra um, brocades and uh, now this cheetah I think is also very versatile. You could go high fashion with it or you could go fantasy with it. And I think it, uh, it also has a similar um, weight where it's, it's more lightweight, has a really nice drape to it. Um, <laughs> yes. Like Dorothy is like, Pantorona cosplay. Yes, make something with it, please. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's really nice. Anyway, sorry, it's giving me JoJo vibes in the best way. Yes, yes, Melting Mirror says it gives you JoJo vibes. Yes, yes, very good. All uh, right. So, we, in while we're speaking of JoJo vibes, um, we have a zebra brocade as well in metallic. So we, we did a zebra print or like we did, um, yeah, like a stripe print um, last year. That was like more of a tiger stripes. So this one in black and white is more of a zebra stripe, but it's a brocade. So I think it's very cool. Definitely dual sided. Um, the one side is a little duller than the other, but they both are just fantastic. It's a little thicker in weight. And so you could like make a nice jacket or even a coat with it. Um, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> it's very, uh, very decadent <laughs> for sure. All right. So um, next we have a snake, a snake print scuba. Um, this fabric feels so nice. And it has a, like a realistic, natural looking snake print on it, but it is printed on the super soft and stretchy scuba fabric. Um, the printing quality is top notch. And so you like, even as you stretch it, you really won't lose the print at all. You know, it's not like, you, it's like, and, and it, it's sort of backed in this uh, mint green. So definitely lots of possibilities with it. Um, you know, maybe more for the fashion lovers, but it's just so soft. Like imagine like a pair of leggings or something with this. Very nice. It's nice and stretchy. So yeah, it's scuba. Um, all right. Uh, we have another snake print. I want to make sure I get all my um, names right because there's so many different fabrics. And uh, Indra helps with naming the fabric, so thank you so much. <laughs> uh, metallic snake print uh, green, metallic snake skin green. Um, this fabric is called very low key. Can I just say, incredibly lady low key, low key everything. Make, make her, you know, the, the crocodile low key, just, you know, gajinka, whatever. Please, somebody low key this fabric. <laughs> um, Fantastic woven with metallics, totally usable on both sides. This, uh, the front side um, is, uh, has like the, the black showing through, but it's just, it's just awesome, I think, look at this. So very drapey, very, very nice. All right, Viper Queen vibes, says Laura, yes. And yeah, definitely dragon vibes. Um, Ale yes, alligator Loki. That's what I'm saying. Somebody do the alligator Loki, please. <laughs> so um, next, we have a few fabrics that are more futuristic, more pleathers and such. And I am super excited to share the distressed pleather in black. So we did something like this, um, I think in our first or second collection years ago. And I've always wanted to bring a fabric like this back, something that is uh, synthetic, but has that real distressed leather look. I mean, I, I think like usually distressed leathers, um, if you find anything that's synthetic, they're in the upholstery section. They're not stretchy at all. They are very, very 
um, hard and thick and meant for like car upholstery. This fabric is soft, but it's still medium weight and it has like a little bit of a stretch to it. I just think it's very beautiful um, and just very natural looking. So I definitely, definitely am very happy this is here. I already have ideas to use this fabric. I think it's just like you could form this fabric over um, over like foam pieces or warbler pieces to make armor, or you can definitely uh, use it for, you know, like arm guards or even just like a doublet or whatever. I mean, it's, this is like a good, uh, good staple fabric to have. So I hope that we can keep it. I hope that it sells well enough that maybe Joanne will even like consider putting this in the basics selection and, you know, keep it year round. But um, I just love that it's soft. Like it's not like the upholstery fabrics that are just so incredibly hard and thick and um, like, my goodness, please somebody do something with Dune from this. Like as soon as I saw the samples, I'm like, this is a whole Dune cosplay right there. So, and, and um, Ryan says that screaming Batman cape to me. And yeah, and if you made a Batman cape with it, it would actually like flop. So, cause he has like a nice drape to it. So it'd be really nice. Yes. So, and the cool thing is we're also offering the distressed pleather in gray. So not only do you get black, you also get gray. Uh, and this is a very neutral gray um, where you can see the distressed texture really well. And this fabric, you can dye it, you can paint on it, you can like, you know, if you want it to be brown instead, you could totally make it brown. So I'm really glad that we have the option to offer it in a, in a different color so that you even have a chance to manipulate it even further if you want to. Um, so, so yes, distressed pleather in gray. <laughs> uh, Mari says this is perfect for so many things. Yeah, so like it, it's like I always want to offer more colors in stores than than there's room for. I'm always like, can we offer it in five colors? Like, no, we can offer it in one or two colors. So at least if it's a neutral like gray, you can definitely you know use it for multiple things by painting it or dyeing it or something. So yeah, very nice. Leonor keeps wanting me to come back to El Paso Comic Con. I'd love to come back. Tell them to invite me back. I'll go back. They have to invite me back. Yeah, like con conventions are starting up, but I can only go if the convention invites me um, so I can like be sure of the safety, like the, the you know, just like all, all the new protocols and whatever and COVID stuff. So uh, I can't just like randomly go to conventions. It has to be organized. So yes, tell conventions to invite me back. Okay, uh, Brianna says, question, can I order this on Joanne website? So the all these fabrics will be on the Joanne website at some point this month. They, they're in stores already, but they should also be on the website. It usually, you know, arrives a little bit later um, because like somebody has to, physically update all the listings and such, but like they should be updated and available on the website soon. All right, let's see. Uh, Aubrey says, what's the name of your collection? It's the, co it's the Cosplay by Yaya Han collection. So if you look for my name, Yaya Han, or if you look for Cosplay Fabrics on the Joanne website, you'll be able to find it. And in the store, there usually is like, my section is usually the most extra looking section. So just look for all the blingy, weird fabrics. <laughs> all right. Um, Ariel Hood says, uh, they're on the site already, just haven't seen them in stock. So um, they're coming in stock. They, they, they've been shipped, but as you see, the world is crazy and there have been delays, but they, they really should be in stock. So I also kind of want to go to my local Joanne this weekend just to see if they're here yet. But um, we were told they're definitely, you know, going to be in stock soon. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna continue on. We have a few more fabrics for you. So next I have the stretch twill burgundy. So this fabric is really interesting because it is a metallic fabric, but it's a twill. It's a twill that has a metallic finish. And it comes in this gorgeous burgundy color and it's stretchy. It's stretchy. Like, I just think this is a great fabric to have. And in fact, I used it. I'm gonna show you what I used it for. Um, here, when we go back to me, <laughs> So I use this fabric for my bell costume because my bell costume is made with the sateen that doesn't stretch. So like I wanted the, um, I wanted the like arm warmers to have like to fit me really well. But if I only use non-stretch fabric, if I only use the sateen, it just would be like, you know, it just like would rip. So I put a, I put a strip of this metallic twill on the back and it makes it really snug fitting. It's like, you don't notice it like in photos or anything. It's just, you know, it's like, and so you can use stretchy fabrics like these that are very um, uh, like neutral looking and you can use them not only as base fabrics for everything, but you can use them as like support structures if you need like some, thigh highs or whatever, you know, costumes that have to stretch, but like your main fabric is non-stretchy. Um, I always try to use like a stretchy fabric to use it as a backing and make it a little stretchier. So, yeah, it's a little, little trick that I like. And, and this fabric is really, really pretty too. It drapes really nice, um, it stretches. Again, I'm like just shocked that it's a twill. So it's awesome. And this color is great too, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Um, Ali says, it's gonna be really helpful for plus size costume comfort, no more pinched elbows. Yes, I learned this the hard way because I have made arm warmers before that were just like satin and, and like, it just totally, like it gives you bruises on your elbows after all day, you know, if you don't have any stretch to it. and um, and then eventually the fabric starts, you know, fraying at the edges. So like, I always try to add some kind of a stretchy part to it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jay is asking if it's a two-way or four-way stretch. I, hold on, let me check. Um, I think it might be a four-way, is that right? Could that be? We'll see. Hmm. It's, yeah, it's a four-way, it's a four-way stretch. Stretches on both sides. One side is like, one way is a little stretchier than the other. So it's like four and a, uh, two and a half ways <laughs> in between. Okay, all right. So we have a few more fabrics for you. These are gonna be um, also really great staple fabrics. This is called um, the optical wave pleather. So you're gonna have to look at the video, but this is like biker jacket goodness. So it ha it is a medium weight and has this really nice uh, like wave structure, like uh, em embossed design on it. And it just looks, looks very superhero suit, you know, like the new Batman, the new Catwoman, you know, like I think it, it is stretchy, but it, it sort of, um, it's it has like a thicker feel to it. And so I probably would use it in conjunction with like another stretchier fabric if I was making a bodysuit or something, but it's weighty enough that you can make like a jacket with it. So if you want to do like a biker jacket or something, but it just has like this cool, very neat, you know, subtle texture to it. I, I love fabrics like this. And I used it um, here on Daki as well, because she just has some like black stripes, but just instead of using, you know, a one tone fabric, I used it so that it has a little more, more texture to it. I love doing stuff like that. 
So, um, yeah, uh, Melting Mirror says it's so nice to have textured, stretchy fabric to add dimension. That's really what it is. For years, I've just wanted to make fabrics and have more access to fabrics that just give me texture, give me depth, give me dimension. Like ever since uh, seeing all the, you know, superhero movie adaptions, and I was like, what they have like access to the coolest fabrics they all have some kind of a texture to it like i want that too so um so yeah <laughs> that's where, where this all came from all right and yes it is nice and matte so that's really nice too this next fabric is also matte in fact it is made very similarly to um the hex fabric that 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 we are fairly famous for so this is another fabric that's very similar to the hex fabric, except this is the embossed geometric design. It has a just a round design to it. And um, really the, the round circles look truly embossed. So they, they are raised. They sort of give you a little bit of a different feel than the hex fabric, but I think it's a really great alternative to the hex fabric. Um, like the hex fabric is very futuristic, but this is almost neutral enough that you could have more application to it. I mean, just look at how, how well it shows up just, just in my, my little like webcam, you know? And it's super soft and it's stretchy. So lots of applications. So like if you've used our um, hexagon fabric before, this is made exactly like it. So you would get the same you know, the, the, the same features with it. So, yay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, uh, we have a couple more. No, we have, we have one more. We have one more in the new collection. Um, this one is a little bit of a trip. It's the holographic stripe. So it is a black stripe fabric that, um, is super holographic and really like plays with your eyes. <laughs> like, um, I think it's super neat. It's very stretchy. It um, has like the, the shiny finish, but it's really like an optical illusion. So I think it's very cool, very different, you know? Um, again, futuristic, high fashion, lots of uh, different applications for it and, yeah, just check it out. Sarcasm human says, wow, that's neat. I know, I think so too. Very stretchy. So it's like the cool part. It's just how incredibly stretchy it is. Like, <laughs> look at that. So I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna do that for the next hour. We, <laughs> very optical illusion. Um, I'm in love with all the textured design black fabric says Aubrey because the black option um, are usually boring. Yes, yes, that's definitely, we we definitely, I think over the years have created some um, very interesting black textured fabrics. And, you know, I'm, I'm always happy when I see people use them. Like I'm, I'm always like, I always zone in when I see someone, they're just like, we are you using, you know? So I think it's just like really cool. It elevates the quality of your costume to, you know, turn like just a like a color blocked costume into something with texture. I just I'm always like more texture, more texture on top of texture, please. So <laughs> Mari's like time to go to the store. Okay, all right, sounds good. <laughs> um. <laughs> Pedro does a watch and see how these fabrics are going to be in the next MCU film. <laughs> that would be amazing. It's like, yes, MCU costume designers, please, please use use what we have available. Because a lot of them, like, like a lot of costume designers, they want to like make their own fabrics, or they're so used to being able to make their own fabrics. And yeah, I would love to get to the point where they could just like walk into a store and be like, hmm, that's that's good. So, um. Anyway, so that was the new 2022 spring collection. Uh, all these fabrics are going to be available on the Joanne website and um, uh, on in Joanne stores. And if you live international in international destinations, definitely check out the new Joanne like shipping policy. They should have uh, shipping options maybe to your country. And um, 
let's see, I was just told there are maybe going to be a few stragglers that will be in at different times this month. That's, that's just because of the supply chain, you know, like we're also familiar with the term supply chain now. So it's just because of that. But they're all coming to stores and they should be available for you. And um, one thing I do want to note is that these collections, like what I just showed you, are seasonal items, which means that they are available until the yardage goes out. You know, so once the yardage is sold, they will not be restocked. And because then they're going to make time or make room for the next collection that we're designing and um, putting in, in that section. So if you saw something that you really Really like that you really would like to use for a costume like I hoard fabrics that are really good neutrals that you know I know that I'll be able to use for multiple projects then I suggest you buy it <laughs> buy it now before it's gone definitely uh, but I feel like um, one thing we don't tell you guys enough about is that we actually have also a basic collection that is restocked year-round that's something that uh, we were able to negotiate with Joanne a, just a couple of years ago. And so we started just with a few fabrics and now we have added to the basics collection. Um, these are the top sellers, the ones that have proven to be, you know, really in demand all the time. And so anything in the basic collection is gonna be restocked. So it's not gonna be forever gone. Um, and I'll just go through them real quick as a uh, reminder. I think we have some pictures of them. Uh, so like, for example, the four-way pleather in black and gold, those are going to be available all year round. Um, the four-way matte solid in black and red and uh, navy, uh, those are just very, you know, like they, they're staple fabrics in cosplay. And so um, we are gonna keep restocking them as well as in white. And then we have um, four-way stretch in metallic black, four-way stretch in metallic bright gold and silver. Uh, I think that's the next slide. It, those are also available year round um, as well as the four-way stretch uh, metallic emerald. So. Those I have used for like, the, especially the gold I've just used for so many different fat, different costumes. Like anytime I need like a gold piping, I just do that. Uh, of course, we also have the low stretch uh, black pleather that is just, I just use it, I think in every costume that since it's come out, I've used, it's that really nice four way stretch pleather. Uh, and then, of course, the ultra cream and black. We have been able to at least keep that. Like uh, once upon a time, we had an ultra cream collection where we had like five different colors. And so since then, that has gone away because uh, uh, the sales just couldn't keep up. But the black uh, ultra cream always sells. So that's now in a year round collection. Um, I keep hoping that we'll like bring back other colors in ultra cream. Like um, I'm using the pink on Docky. So, cause I hoarded it, I saved it from a few years ago. I was like, I'd love to be able to offer more colors of ultra cream. Um, so like all the mermaid oil slicks and such like the four way oil slick, the mermaids, you know, the, the one with the scales, they, they're all basic. So they're, they're around a uh, year round, a four way uh, metallic and red and cobalt. And then, of course, we also have the scuba hex. So we have the scuba hex in black and white. Those are um, in the basics collection, restock year round. Uh, I think they're usually out of stock because I think people buy them by the bolts. <laughs> so I don't know how to solve that <laughs> problem. But it it is like, I don't know. I, I probably would do that myself. So <laughs> who am I to say? Um, but the scuba hex in white is uh, fantastic because it dyes very easily. I've seen people just dye it in every color possible and make entire costumes with it and always makes me so happy. So, and then new to the basics collection is the large um, and small scales. So like the really nice, um, we actually don't have a picture of it, but uh, it's like the, the really nice um, 
3D looking red scales. And then they also really liked the uh, floral brocade velvet and the metallic um, floral brocade and not those are on the right here. Those are also now part of the basics collection. They were they were like part of the seasonal collection last year. And, you know, they were so well received that they made it into basics collection. So that's how it goes, guys. Like everything enters as a seasonal. And if the sales are great and they like them, they might rebuy them and they might eventually add it to um, the basics collection. So restock your round. That's always my goal. I always hope to add to the collection that will be restocked um, so that we can continuously, you know, uh, make it available. So, so yeah, um, Justine says, I found my massive stash of red ultra cream. Whoa, you're so lucky. <laughs> And uh, I need to come up with a new cosplay for it. Yeah, definitely. Ultra Prime, I, I'm always like, man, I wish we could bring it back more. You know, in the end, it's like not up to us. It is up to, you know, them. So we can we can make presentations and we can try to convince them. But like um, in the end, like what what you you guys have the power, you know, by buying the fabrics, you have the power to show them like what. Um, what is used, but yeah, yeah. Some of the brocades are like uh, permanent now, so that that makes me super happy, and I'm I'm really hoping we can do more in that direction. So um, let's see. I do have a little bit of time for questions. We wanted to to leave some time for questions. If you have any specific ones, see someone asking if um, we could show the red scales. I don't know if we could find a picture of the red scales that that's a great i saw like people doing monster hunter costumes with it, it awesome. very nice uh let's see i'm looking at some of the comments and i'm looking at okay um when do they start selling as rose so they they are on sale now they should be on the joanne website um and uh, let's see. Yes, so so that that is totally. I'm trying to look at some of the other the other comments. Um, yeah, what are you guys working on? Like, do you see something that I saw? I saw some people really hone in on the um, the the Byzantine blue and silver, and um, also like the the various textured fabrics. So uh, I definitely am hoping. So praying for gold, uh, gold ultra cream. So like the, there is one fabric that is fairly similar. So I feel like the four way pleather gold is very similar to the ultra cream. It's like maybe a little shinier, but it sort of has that same um, feel to it. That's what I've been using if I've, if I've needed gold. Um, tell joanne to give us more in the basics so sarah yes that's always the thing like like the we like we've been trying to teach uh the buyers at joanne that cosplayers want consistency you know like we are different from like the quilter uh customer or like the fashion buy customers where like they want something new they want new ideas the new prints every year but we cosplayers were like we found the one fabric that's really great we want it forever <laughs> like please don't ever take it away so um it's very different and so i think in in some ways like we've been very lucky to even have the chance to sell these fabrics in a store like joanne because their usual customer is totally different from us you know like we um we sort of buy things differently than a normal sewing customer so just the fact that they are giving us the chance and have been bringing us back for uh six years now has been really fantastic uh angel asks will there be lycra or knit being added for your next collection maybe if it's really extra just like the twill, it has to be, you know, not just a twill, it needs to be like a metallic twill. <laughs> so um, if we add any, like, you know, like, uh, like we're probably never gonna go into just like cotton or linen or something, unless it is 
a very unique type of that fabric because that that's sort of like what our brand is known for that is what uh joanne sort of wants us for so like they they can source um very uh like normal fabrics and we always go for the weird cool out there fabrics um but yeah, like it's uh, it's really great that like we also are continuing with not only the fabrics but also the uh, trims. So like the trims are still being uh, restocked. We are coming out with some new trims as well. So you know when you go into a Joanne store, when you look on the website, um, don't just look in the fabric section. Look in the trims as well. We have some very weird and cool trims, and um, I like really like have been excited about like the scallop trims that we've been doing recently um just because i i see scallop trims again and again in anime and video game designs and i finally was like can we just please make scallop trims like so i can have some so it's been really exciting um and let's see uh, there's some requests for lace fabric i also would not mind having access to a really nice um stretch lace specifically that would be awesome yeah i would really enjoy that um let's see there are new trends coming uh in august so so we like we restock twin trims once a year and the new restock is coming in august so you will see some new stuff that would be really cool um Let's see. Oh, I was just told that we might be getting some super cream, which is like a um, it's it's a little cheaper version of the ultra cream cream because like the, the issue with the ultra cream is that it was like too expensive, like that the pricing, like just the the way the fabric is made is like really expensive. So we um introduced the super cream last collection in blue and um, like navy and red. And so we might be getting the Super Cream again in the next collection in fall um, in a couple colors, like purple. I'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. And then I think I just want to quickly mention um, that we also, of course, have the uh, EVA foam collection going on. Um, the EVA foam is still uh, being sold in Joanne stores. So you have the various thicknesses, two millimeter, five millimeter, 10 millimeter, as well as um, the trims, so like the, uh, the half moon trims and triangle trims. And then we, of course, also last year added the um, foam clay. So that's been really awesome. Um, I am looking at some of the comments. Uh, Ann Rogers says, I've been hoarding two-tone iridescent fabric you released from years ago to one day make something. Yeah, like that's what we do. We like hold on to something and want to use it for years going on. Oh yeah, I saw a couple of people uh, asking about patterns. So yes, I am still making patterns with McCall's. Um, not as many as before, just because they have done their merger with Simplicity and now there's just like, you know, too many patterns to, to do. So, but this year I have my Han Fu pattern coming out that I've been, you know, telling everyone about because uh, uh, I'm really proud of it. So, so the Chinese Han Fu pattern will come out this summer. Um, I sent them all the pieces like my, from my costume. So it will, you'll be able to use the Han Fu that I drafted for my own Chinese Hong Fu costume. I'm really excited. Uh, and then I guess I can spoil it. We are, we're doing a pattern based on my Carmilla dress from Castlevania. And so it will be the big flowy dress. It, it won't be as big as my dress because it literally would not fit on the pattern paper. So you can extend it yourself if you want, but it will be that slim fitting you know, long drape of the um, Carmilla Castlevania dress. So I'm really excited for both of those patterns coming out. And then I'm personally hoping I could design more Han Fu patterns. There are different styles of them. So I'd like to design like a, um, a couple different styles 
And because I'm still incredibly, you know, I just think it's it's just like so versatile. You can use it for elven robes. There's just, you know, so much you can use it for. And it's so beautiful. And I want more people to cosplay and make hantus. So and there's nothing like it on the market because I, I tried to look for it. There's only kimono patterns. There are no hantu patterns. So I'm like, come on. So we're, we're going to bring that to you. Uh, and yeah, very excited. Okay. Um, Ariel says, I'd love to see another mermaid style gown pattern swim fitting and flared out at the bottom. I have submitted that pattern to McCall's. They have not said yes yet. Like, that's the thing. It's like, I can only make suggestions. I can be very enthusiastically, you know, suggesting things, but in the end, they will be uh, the ones deciding. So yes, I will continue to ask for a like mermaid gown, like a tight fitting mermaid gown. Cause um, like, like my evil queen dress, you know, like, can we just make that into a pattern? You know, uh, that'd be really cool. So it will maybe happen one day. I don't know. So um let's see justine says will i make a giant carmela inspired dress probably not will i buy the pattern to add to my yaya collection probably yes thank you so much you never know man you never know you might need to make a slinky giant dress it might happen like that's trust me it i'm very glad for my fabric hoarding as well <laughs> oh my goodness uh sarah asks will i will i be doing any yaya branded plastisode or light diffusing foam uh i would love to i certainly would love to uh it it has definitely come up before it not up to me <laughs> once again not up to me so but I, I certainly hope chandler ashley asks how did you get into fabric design um so I was approached by Cosplay Fabrics uh, in 2015, and I think they heard about me through McCall's. Like I was like making my first pattern with McCall's in 2015 that I think came out in April or something that year. Um, it was the bodysuit pattern, and uh, the um, the the like. Uh, Wyla, the umbrella company for Cosplay Fabrics, they um, provide fabrics to McCall's, you know, for their pattern uh, envelope. So like you have to make a garment to go on the pattern envelope. And so Wyla had that relationship with them. And I think like, you know, it's either like they found out about me or McCall's found out about me through Heroes of Cosplay. <laughs> Do you remember that show? So like they saw me on Heroes of Cosplay and and said, oh, she she might know what she's talking about. And I'm like, um, I didn't go to school for textile design, but I have a lot of opinions about fabrics. <laughs> you know, I've been hoarding fabrics for 15 years and I have all of these fabrics that I think we should be making and that's like missing in the market. And the first one that I wanted to do was the Ultra Cream because um, that was like my unicorn fabric, so. <laughs> um and so yeah like we we had that uh relationship and at the beginning i don't think we were gonna sell the fabrics through joanne it was just like we were just gonna make some fabrics and maybe sell them through a website and then like at some point i got a call from them that they presented the idea to joanne and that joanne was actually interested and and then i was like what <laughs> like, didn't believe it um but then we worked on it for almost a year before the first collection came out and i literally like i wouldn't believe it until i walked into a joanne and saw it myself you know and i saw like my logo and my name and i was like oh this is actually real uh so been very blessed and you know very um lucky to still be able to do this and to you know inject my ideas and you know represent like a, a great brand uh because i'm i'm very mm, i'm very strict with quality like uh, a lot of times like i would just be like 
nah, not really on this fabric or it needs to be different. And I always feel like I'm kind of a pain in the ass to my partners, <laughs> but um, really like it, I'm, I just come from it from a um, perspective of a user, you know, like I know what it's like to use fabrics. I know the wear and tear on fabrics. I know what the fabrics have to do in order for it to last and, you know, to withstand all this um, beating that I take it through. And I know what features it needs to have. So like I design from that perspective. Uh, and so far just have been able to continue doing it, but it's it certainly is a um, group effort. It's a huge team effort, um, you know, like, so it's, it's not just me, I'm a small pop cog in the, entire uh, system and so like even this live stream you know we have a cosplay fabrics team behind the scenes um helping me out making sure that i don't miss certain information and i'm able to answer all your questions so so we have like four people behind the scenes right now that you're not seeing you know nico and indra emily and charlene they're all here to you know make sure that this presentation answers all your questions and you know gives you the best uh, way to prepare for your next cosplay season. So, so yeah, really excited. Uh, Ruby Red asks, have you shown the new spring line yet? So yes, I have shown the spring line, but you definitely can go back and rewatch it if you missed it. Um, it only took, you know, about 30 minutes, I think. So you can rewind and, and uh, look at like this video will be up on my Facebook as well as on uh, YouTube, um, Cosplay Fabrics, as well as my channels. So you can definitely go back and, and rewatch and see what's coming out and get prepared. Um, so yeah, I, I'm i just happy hanging out with you guys. Oh my gosh, Shema is here. Hi, Shema. Aw, Shema is sending very sweet messages that I've worked very hard and that the, it's amazing to feel the love and passion um, for every creation and project. This is it, man. This is this is my dream. I just want to like play with fabrics. Like, what 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 more do I want? You know, as a cosplayer, okay, as someone who has like traveled the world and every every city I go into, I'm like, where's your fabric store? Where's your fabric district? Like, I've been like this for years. I always like, where can I buy fabrics? And so be able to actually, you know learn about textiles and use some really amazing new technologies that come out in textiles um being able to like influence the the pattern and the styling you know like um i i'm hoping to to create more patterns in the style of art nouveau and art deco and just having that you know that insight is really amazing to me so i'm very 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 grateful and very grateful to all of you for being in this live stream and you know just being so interested and in trusting me and trusting cosplay fabrics with um, your materials so yeah i i can't wait to see what you all make i miss everyone so much i, I wish we could have more events and um i went to catscon recently and um met lots of people and you know a lot of them got into sewing during the pandemic and it's just it is just really amazing to to see how we've still been in staying creative and you know channeling all of um all of our passion into something like cosplay so like it's, it's continuing on so so yeah i think i'm going to um bring this live stream to a close i appreciate all of you so much please check out cosplay fabrics on um all the social channels their instagram they work super hard to you know give you sneak peeks of all the products um follow them on twitter uh cosplay fabrics and uh facebook and they post tutorials on youtube so yeah crafting tutorials on how to use the fabrics and foam to make different things and so definitely check out their youtube i will continue to work on docky that's my thing this month i will finish docky i will do a photo shoot with docky i will build a set for docky when it stops raining in Atlanta. <laughs> so, because like, I, I build it in my warehouse. So like uh, any strong rain, it actually like floods in a little bit. So I have to always wait <laughs> before before I can build my full set. Um, but that should hopefully happen in the next couple of weeks. 
So thank you so much for joining me. And I really, really appreciate all of you. And I hope to see you at a convention very soon. I have some announcements of conventions coming up. Um, one will be tomorrow. So look out tomorrow for a convention announcement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Phantom of Hearts says, thank you so much for sharing um, the new line with us. Thank you so much for being interested in my new fabric line. All right, I'm gonna end the broadcast now. Bye, good night. Take care, bye. Thank you.